act as if you're going into an interview, not a career fair. Like I said, that casual, I'm going to stroll through, see what's there, pick it up, leave it, that doesn't work. That doesn't help differentiate you from anybody else. That doesn't help you to leave a, a great impression or a lasting impression on that hiring manager. So, all aspects of it. It's going to be the dress, the attitude, the presentation, and the practice. So, the first part we'll talk about is dress. And it's, it's pretty simple. Um, I thought that I may have, have put a little too much into this slide. It may have been too wordy. I don't know. <laughs> Not at all. It's on. So, basically, wear a suit, okay? I know that the culture is uh, dress down, business casual, these kind of things. I don't care. The reason you always see a wear a suit for dress for success is because it works. So if you're there in a suit, you look professional, you are going to separate yourself from the people who are casually strolling through just to kind of observe. So you want to act like an interview, even if, because this is a good qualifier, there's a little caveat that could exist, even if the company that you are interested in is a more relaxed, business, casual kind of company, you're going to need more than that company there. So you're going to want to have the image that that, that business owner is looking for, and that's what you're going to want to portray. So wear a suit. It doesn't hurt. That's it. All right, attitude. This is, this is the biggest difference. I've seen hundreds, if not thousands, of, of resumes that were awesome. They're absolutely great. Look at this resume. Go, this person is fantastic. I get them on the phone. I get them in person. They're smug, they're apathetic, they don't care. Uh, it, it is absolutely awful. They've got all these attributes on this resume, but they can't convey that to me. So I don't know if they pay somebody 75 bucks online to do the resume, I don't know how that is. But that is the biggest difference. And that is, I, I, I've got a saying that I use, there's a lot that's lost in translation between the paper and the person. So you can have a, a great resume, terrible personality, terrible attitude, or you can have a eh, so-so mediocre resume, great attitude, great personality. That's the person the companies are going to be attracted to. It comes down to attitude. So keep that in mind when you're out there. Presentation. And you got to do that's a nice, uh, you know, swanky, formal type dish. Maybe if you're on Valentine, you feel this, this, you know, you've got to go to these types of restaurants where you really can't pronounce what you're eating. Uh, oftentimes, you kind of just take a stab in the dark. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Why do you go to these types of restaurants? Anybody want to take a guess? Presentation. It's exactly it. You go to Taco Bell, you know, get 95% more food for 95% less on the price. So it's all about presentation. It's all about the attitude. It's all about the dress. It's all about how you walk through, you want to have a commanding presence. So many companies say, Shannon, I need somebody with presence. And why they like student athletes is because of that confidence and because of that presence that you bring and that control that you bring to that environment. So don't be intimidated by it. If you've done your homework, if you're dressed for success, if you know what you're looking for and you've identified it and you're going after it, you're going to have that confidence. You're going to be able to walk tall. You're going to be able to own that room. And that's a very critical factor in that presentation. All right, finally, practice, practice, practice. If you guys don't do that enough, you get to do it more because that's, that's what it's all about. You treat this just like a game situation. You act as if you are going into that interview. You, you do the exact same thing. You work on your introduction. You work on, you can't read it here, but I mentioned your 30 second personal commercial. And this is basically your objective piece of your resume, but it's you verbalizing it. So you go on corporateplaybook.com, we've got a great piece on there about that 30 second commercial. We have some uploaded things from YouTube, things like that that you can look at so you can actually you know, see it. But that's critical, you gotta practice that. Do a question and answer session, have your roommate quiz you, have your roommate go over some of these things with you. You can't sound memorized, but you gotta know, you gotta, you gotta be rehearsed and not memorized, if that makes, that makes sense. That's what you're going for. And finally, this is really more of the 30 second commercial. It gets a little bit more in depth. The guys, for the sake of time and for the sake of your eyes, take it offline, put it, put it on corporatefacebook.com, look at it there. So that way you'll be able to do that. If you, uh, we've got some folders for you. Chad, if you want to help me out.